everyone and welcome back to Math Merit. Today we're going to begin with a review. Now this is going to be a different review than we have been doing in the past. Today we're going to be going all the way to the month of August and September, which is our first six weeks. We're going to be reviewing specific concepts that we saw back then. Now, the reason that we're going to be doing this is because we are coming up on a final exam for both Math Merit and Algebra 1. So, this is going to be a very extensive review. It's going to take a couple days. Um, I do strongly encourage you to take very good notes on whatever we, we review. You will be allowed to use them during the test. Please take advantage of that. Be smart, take notes, do your assignments. If you have any questions on any of the concepts that we cover, please make sure you ask. Um, that way, whenever the final does come, you have the knowledge that you need, okay? So let's get started. The very first concept we are going to be reviewing is actually from our first six weeks. It is solving multi-step equations. Now, we look at this now and it looks so easy, but again, we're going to review it. Now, we have 2t plus 3 equals 4. Solving multi-step equations. We are solving an equation following multiple steps, meaning we're going to solve for t, which is our variable in this equation. Again, a variable is the letter in an equation, and it doesn't matter what letter it is, it's called a variable because we don't know the value of it. The value of it varies. So we're going to be trying to solve, or we're going to be solving, the value of t. How are we going to be doing that? By getting t to be by itself on one side of the equal sign. So it's already on this side of the equal sign. We're going to start off with the 3. We're going to get rid of it from this side and move it over here. To do that, we're going to subtract 3 to both sides. Now it's a positive. That's a negative. That equals 0. 4 minus 3 equals 1. It's a positive 1 because our bigger number is positive. Okay? Now, we are left with 2t plus 0, but we can just take that out. We're left with 2t equals 1. Now, 2t is multiplication. So we're going to be doing the opposite of multiplication, which means that we will be dividing. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to divide 2 to both sides, just like we did with the 3. We're going to divide by 2 here and divide by 2 here. The 2 cancels out right there. And our final answer is that 2, I'm sorry, that t equals 1 over 2. It equals a fraction. It equals half. Okay, now another concept we're going to be reviewing today, again, is from our first six weeks of this semester, and it is solving equations with variables on both sides, meaning that in this case, we have variables on both sides of the equal sign. And what do we do in this case? This is also considered a multi-step equation just because we follow multiple steps. It's just a little different because now we have variables on both sides. But we're going to be following kind of the same thing. We're going to try and get, well, we are going to get our variables on one side of the equal sign and our um, integers or numbers on the other side of the 
equal sign. So we can be able to solve for our variable, which in this case is x, okay? We're going to start off with just the numbers. We have 5x plus 2, 3x plus 10. I'm going to start off by moving the 2. It is a smaller number, so I find it easier to do it that way. So I'm going to subtract 2 to both sides. That leaves us with 5x equals 3x plus 8. Why plus 8? Because if you subtract 2 from positive 10, your answer is 8. Okay? Now, what are we going to do with the 3x and the 5x? We are going to do the same thing, but subtract 3x this time. Now that we subtract 3x, we are left with 2x equals 8. 2x equals 8. This looks like a one-step equation now. Very simple. We're going to divide 2 to both sides. And after dividing 2 to both sides, we are left with x equals 4. Okay? Now, now that we have done that, remember, x equals 4. Let's write it on this end. And let's make some room to check our answer. You do remember to check your answers, right? So let's just erase this. Very well. Now what we're going to be doing is plugging in the number 4 for our variable x. So 5 times 4 plus 2 equals 3 times 4 plus 10. What is 5 times 4? 20. Plus 2. Now, what is 3 times 4? It's 12. Now, 20 plus 2 equals 22. And 12 plus 10 also equals 22. That means that our math is correct. Okay? That's more. very well. For your assignment today, I have two equations that I want you to solve for. Our first one is a multi-step equation. And our second one is solving an equation with variables on both sides. Now, I just chose one for each concept that we reviewed today. Please go ahead and solve them using the same exact steps I took to solve them. Um, again, it is very important during this time that you make sure you understand this concept very, very well. If you do not, for any reason, maybe you just don't remember, maybe I just explained it differently and this time it didn't make sense. Whatever doubts you may have or if it seems hard, please do not hesitate and ask for help. I'm here to help you. I want to set you up for success, but you need to ask for help, okay? Now, I hope you all have a very wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to be hearing back from everyone very, very soon. Goodbye.